Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series. We have Green Goblin and Gwen Stacy. So yeah, uh, as I said before, I'm doing these, you know, two at a time. Um, just to kind of cut some corners here a little bit. With all the same amount of fun. So, uh, let's get these bad boys cracked open and take a better look at them. So, okay, just to start off, um, I did get another one of these. Right here. I do have, and, and I might, I may get more. I'm not saying I'm not going to. But, and it's, I just want to say it's not even for the Mary Jane to make it into a Mary Jane because I'm not going to do that. I'm just, I'm thinking maybe a Penny Parker. Or maybe some other ones down the road. Uh, just random, you know, civilian style. Yeah, it's going to work. Same thing with the, I, I mentioned with the uh, Peter Parker. I'm going to be getting more of those too for custom shit. So we've got the Green Goblin glider, which yeah, rumors said they had a little spot there so that you could use that flight stand from the uh what was it the demo goblin build a figure uh and this is something i'm actually really excited about with this one is this norman osborne head i can't wait to get that on a suited body probably going to use like the uh the gray one with the um Remember the fucker from uh, the Captain Marvel movie. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, this is I guess this is the Green Goblin really that everyone wanted the classic style Green Goblin, and I'll get into more of that in a minute. Let's get her out of here. <laughs> That's usually the case with these retro. Uh, figures is I usually end up wanting to get multiple versions of some of them. <laughs> it always seems to happen. I still need to get another vision so I can have one loose. <coughs> <coughs> and that's a nice MJ head. I don't know if it was reused from one of the recent Black Widows or not. I can't. I don't know. I have to look. I can seriously go back and look. Um, yeah, this is a very nice. Good looking Gwen. Now the Mary Jane head I'm hoping to use. Because I do think I want this to be my definitive Mary Jane head. But let's get back to this Green Goblin. So yeah, like I was saying, this is more cartoon inspired, but a classic Green Goblin. Um, definitely all in that head sculpt. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, we got that little floating collar piece, which is no big deal. Looks good though. Yeah, I really like that. Big buggy yellow eyes, big ass ears. And yeah, uh, it's cool that they did this with the with the glider. But I mean, man, why not just give us the the extra piece to go ahead and use it? You know what I mean? Why do we have to end up having to mul have multiples of something? You know, I don't know. <laughs> just come on, man. Do I have to go out and try to find me another white rabbit or something just so I can get some more of these gliders? Nicely yields his pumpkin. It's eh, good enough. Yeah, I can't wait though to use this because I'm not going to use this on the the goblin. I'm definitely going to make me a just straight, you know, Norman Osborn figure. That's going to be awesome. But yeah, this looks great. 
And I want to go ahead and compare it to our recent Green Goblin that we got. So you can see the similarities, but also how, you know, this is more, I guess, this is our uh, current style, maybe, Green Goblin versus Classic. Gliders looking good, they're the same, you know, mostly the same, just different head sculpts and shit. So, but yeah, I like it, and we did not get that little notch down there for this guy, so. Alright, so now, we'll talk about Gwen. Um, so yeah, this is my Gwen, definitely, she's just gonna stay this way. She came with a rolled up newspaper from the Daily Bugle. She has a book here that says Midtown High School on it. She has a Trapper Keeper. So that's cool. We can reuse a lot of this stuff for other shit. Um, that being aside, I have nothing to, s to complain about. This is just, I guess, what I would want. And a Gwen Stacy figure if we were ever to get one. So totally no complaints there. Ah, come on. Alright. Uh, real quick though, I'm going to Spider Gwen here. A little size comparison. And she's shorter. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Although, she is wearing heels. Now this is the one I want because this is the MJ that we got in that two pack. I like it because MJ is just seems she just seems to be a little older. She looks a little older here. But what I'm hoping to God is that this head fits that pig. The flesh tone's a little different. But I don't too much care because I like that. This is Definitely my new MJ head right there. Yes. Love it. Just throw this away now because they use this with so many. I mean, I know definitely know that they did with the retro Black Widow and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe somebody else. But yeah, I like this better. So that's going to be it. I wish I had an extra suited body just nearby that I could just switch out real quick and put this on there because. I know that's going to look pretty cool. Can't wait to do that. I mean, but yeah. Um, anyways, <laughs> if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, man, because I'm loving these. In the comments, you guys let me know what you guys think of them. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done it. And I'll catch you on my next video, man. Master Marvel 80, and I'm out. Peace.